Hi everyone, it's Miss Joanne and it's my story time. I'm so glad that you're here today. Let's start with our song. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands. How about we tap our heads and give a big smile and stomp your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, well, Max the Brave is our story for today. And you can see him here on the front cover. He's wearing a cape. Superheroes are very brave, aren't they? So I'm wearing my cape today and I have my superhero mask on. And we're going to read about Max the Brave which is a digital book. And I got Max the Brave uh, from our ebook collection. Uh, so you can download and borrow ebooks through Libby ebooks and also Hoopla using your Metuchen Library card. So I picked this book, Max the Brave by Ed Veer, because I think this is a very entertaining and funny story. It uh, looks like it's being published by Sourcebooks Jabberwocky. And this book is about a brave kitten. And what do kittens like to chase? Mice, of course. Except there's only one problem. Max doesn't know what a mouse looks like. So let's read this story together about Max the Brave. This is Max. Doesn't Max look sweet? Max looks so sweet that sometimes people dress him up with bows. Max does not like being dressed up with bows because Max is a fearless kitten. Max is a brave kitten. Max is a kitten who chases mice. Max the Brave just needs to find out what a mouse looks like, and then he'll chase it. Maybe Mouse is in there. Mouse, Max bravely explores the can. Mouse, are you in there? Hmm, Mouse is in here. Oh, hello. Are you Mouse? No, I'm Fly, says Fly, but I just saw a mouse scurry by a moment ago. Hmm, maybe this is what mouse looks like. Excuse me, please, but are you mouse? I'm not mouse, I'm fish, says Fish, but I just saw a mouse dash outside. That must be Mouse up in the tree. Excuse me, please, but are you Mouse? We are not Mouse. We are birds, say the birds. But we did just see Mouse scoot by. Excuse me, but would you happen to be Mouse? Eek! Mouse! I'm not Mouse, I'm Elephant says Elephant, but I did just see Mouse skitter by. Thank you very much, says Max. And you? Nope, that away. Hello there. Are you Mouse by any chance? Who, me? No, certainly not. I'm Monster squeaks Mouse, but I did just see Mouse asleep over there. If you're very quick, you might catch him. Thank you very much, says Max. This must be Mouse. Mmm, I didn't know Mouse was so big. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mouse, will you wake up please? I am Max the Brave and I have come to chase you. Wakey, wakey, Mouse, yells Max as he bounces up and down on Monster's head. 
I am Max the Brave, and I chase mice, and I might just eat you up too. Hmm, I didn't know Mouse had such big teeth. Oh. Oh. Yuck! Max decides that chasing mice is not all it's cracked up to be. And anyway, he doesn't need to be Max the Brave all the time. Unless he's out chasing monsters. Now, is that really a monster, boys and girls? No, look at that. That's a little mouse. But I guess Max thinks that that's what he really is, is a monster, which is funny. And that's the end of our story of Max the Brave. So what I invite you to do this week, boys and girls, is talk with your family about a time when you have had to be brave. There are always times where we all have to be brave and find that bravery within our superhero selves. So when I think back to when I was younger and I had to learn to ride my bike or to skateboard uh, or to roller skate, I really, especially riding my bike, I needed a lot of help to be brave, to get those training wheels off my bike and learn how to ride without somebody running alongside me and helping me. When I got a little older, I needed bravery when it was time for me to go on a hiking trip and follow a very windy long path in the woods and follow the trail markers all by myself, which I did. And even today, using a digital book for my first story time, I had to be brave to figure out how it works. So I hope you enjoyed today's story time using a digital book. And I hope you explore some digital books using your Metuchen library card or any library card you may have. You'll have privileges to download some ebooks, and we have such great children's books available to you. And you can let us know what books that you have been able to read online that you have loved. And you can let us know at Metuchen Public Library at lmxac.org. We would love to hear from you. If you are a young patron or a family and you've been enjoying some wonderful eBooks, let us know what you've been reading. All right, that's all for today. Take care, bye-bye.